hey guys welcome back to another video so we would be continuing our video series for our project so today we would be designing our book component uh, that we promised to deliver so in here if you could see here is the list of books and the book filters that are associated with those uh, books and uh, we get a glimpse of those books uh, over which we choose according to the filter okay so for this requirement we need to create a books component or what we could say is in the back end we have to create a book object okay and what uh, what is the necessary thing of a book object is that it should contain a book name the author name as well as the price including and all with the uh, cover image photo okay so we have to uh, make all those things happen uh, moving further uh, we have to divide our books component into some section categories so our section category number one is to have this type of uh, re uh, checkbox groups right so how in the back end we could store it in as we could one way is to store it in a string okay or what we could do is like uh, we could store it in a pick list value or a multi select pick list. Why multi select? Because I could uh, choose two uh, languages at once so that I could segregate the rest of the books from uh, the other languages to only my specified languages. Okay. Next category is the category for your books. This is like the action adventure uh, arts and films and photography so basically that is the books category uh, of the type of books that you would wish to read like action and adventure arts and film so in this there is no uh, multi select pick list there would be just a simple pick list so that if we could uh, we could choose only one value at a time okay so uh, this was it for the initial requirements and now let us create this uh, object in our test course. So giving this object name as book, books and description. that is used to store our uh, books information okay and uh, a record name is book name and the data type is text because we would be entering the book name uh, on our own and uh, we need to have a report on this as well and uh, search as well uh, and we would be launching a new tab wizard so that we could assign this a uh, tab So choose a tab style of your type so let us see that is there any kind of thing that is referred to as a book yeah see this is books next so now tab visibility now where you want to include this do you want to include is in those apps or not so yeah we would be including it everywhere so our books component is created so what is the uh, field that we are created is book name created by last modified by an owner so one field we create and other three are out of created uh, now we want is the book name is there the text field is to store uh, the author name and the length should be the max character length that is 255 and I think that this should be required uh, when we are uh, saving a book record so yes or what you do is for now you could uh, uncheck this The author name is arrived. Uh, the multi pick list. So 
the languages. English, English, Spanish. And setting the profile usability to all the profile, speed level security. And the pick list is created. Now, now we want to create a pick list field, simple pick list field that would store our category book category. and adventure, horror, science fiction, sci-fi, kids. So I am adding this category. And the last category that is I am adding is, uh, yeah, you have guessed this right is the currency. So I would be writing the price. Price of books, so guys our simple books component is created in which the author name, book category, the book name and the languages and the price has been created by us. So now we would be creating a LWC component where would be uh, getting all these things but one thing that we are missing in here is the image like uh, how we would be getting this image so yeah this would be revealed in the further coming videos guys so till then uh, if you are working with me I hope that uh, from this point we are in sync so if you are have not created this uh, I request you to create this so that yeah you have a learning experience with me as well and thanks for watching and happy coding guys